Moonshot AI's newest model, Kimi K2 Thinking, has become one of the most surprising developments in the AI world this year, not only because of its performance, but because of what its existence means for the global race between China and the United States. For years, nearly everyone assumed that the frontier of AI would stay under the control of companies like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Anthropic, the labs with billions in funding, high-end NVIDIA chips, elite American talent, and access to enormous compute clusters. And then suddenly, a two-year-old Chinese startup stepped forward, released a fully open-source model, and instantly positioned itself alongside GPT-5 and Claude Sané 4.5 in reasoning tasks. In multiple benchmark categories that were once considered nearly unsolvable for open-weight models, Kimi K2 thinking performed not just competitively, but better. The shock wasn't subtle. It wasn't gradual. It hit the industry like a cold wave that nobody expected. Kimi K2 thinking is not just another language model pretending to be a reasoning engine. It is designed specifically as a long horizon thinking system, the kind of model that doesn't panic, doesn't hallucinate under pressure, and can browse, read, analyze, and plan with stability normally reserved only for top US frontier models. Moonshot trained it to behave like a deliberate problem solver instead of a fast responding text generator. Instead of rushing to complete sentences, it pauses, thinks, uses tools, and forms reasoning chains that can span hundreds of steps. Early testers noticed something unusual. Even during extremely long and complicated tasks, the model didn't drift, didn't crash, and didn't lose coherence. It could use more than 200 sequential tool calls, jump between documents, verify sources, and still stay on track. This type of long-chain coherence is something researchers have been chasing for years. It's the core vision behind LLM as agent, and Kimi seems to have taken a major leap toward that goal. The benchmarks were the first signs that something extraordinary was happening. Humanity's last exam, one of the hardest tests ever made, combines expert-level reasoning across physics, engineering, mathematics, economics, genetics, medicine, philosophy, and multi-step logic puzzles. Most humans score extremely low. Even GPT-5 struggles to stay above the low 40s. And then Kimi K2 Thinking scored 44.9%, pushing itself above GPT-5's 41.7 and leaving Claude Sonnet 4.5 far behind in the low 30s. This alone was enough to ignite industry speculation, but an even bigger shock came from the browse comp results, a benchmark designed to test a model's ability to perform real-world online research. Browse comp doesn't care about memorized knowledge. It tests searching, comparing sources, detecting unreliable claims, analyzing data, and piecing everything together into an accurate final answer. Here, Kimi didn't just outperform, it delivered the highest score ever recorded, above 60%. GPT-5 stayed in the mid-50s. Claude collapsed to around 24. Independent evaluation companies later confirmed more results, including a staggering 93% on the Tau-2 bench telecom task, a task widely considered one of the hardest agentic tests ever created. No open model had ever come close to numbers like these. But the most unbelievable detail wasn't the performance, it was the price. According to CNBC, the entire training run cost Moonshot AI roughly 4.6 million US dollars, a tiny fraction of the hundreds of millions typically spent by Western labs. Many people refused to believe it at first, but the explanation made sense. Kimi uses a massive mixture of experts architecture, around a trillion total parameters spread across 384 experts, but only about 32 billion active at any given moment. This design prevents waste. It activates only the exact experts needed. It mirrors how the human brain doesn't use the entire cortex for every task, only the relevant regions. On top of this, Moonshot used aggressive INT4 quantization, compressing weights into 4-bit formats while maintaining high accuracy. American labs often avoid this technique because they have access to enormous compute budgets. But China, restricted from high-end NVIDIA chips due to export controls, was forced to innovate. Their limitations pushed them into becoming leaders in efficient training. And now, ironically, these constraints are becoming an advantage. The result was a model that performs like a frontier system but costs a fraction of what US labs spend. Industry reaction was immediate. Thomas Wolf from Hugging Face called it another deep seek moment, signaling a second major shock from China's open source community. Venture capitalists admitted that the landscape had changed overnight. Chinese analysts claimed that training costs inside the country have dropped so dramatically 
that Chinese startups can now compete head-to-head -head with American labs at a tenth of the budget. Even the stock market reacted. AI-related stocks dipped. Nvidia briefly fell as investors worried that China might eventually reduce reliance on American GPUs through domestic hardware and hyper-optimized training methods. Then came the licensing surprise. Moonshot released Kimi K2 Thinking as open weight under a modified MIT license. It is fully open for commercial use, but with one interesting condition. If a company using the model has more than 100 million monthly active users or earns more than $20 million a month, they must add visible credit to Kimi K2 thinking inside their interface. No fees, no restrictions, just attribution. Some critics argued that this bends the definition of open source, but legally, it remains open weight and free for almost every business on Earth. Despite all the excitement, experts still say open models are generally four to six months behind the absolute bleeding edge private systems inside OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google. Some capabilities, like deep coding, self-debugging, robotics planning, and fine-grained multimodal reasoning, are still stronger in the top closed weight models. GPT-5 remains the fastest. Claude leads in coding depth. Google's internal experimental systems are rumored to outperform even GPT-5 in multimodal tasks. Western labs still have the most advanced tool ecosystems, the most stable memory systems, and the most refined safety frameworks. But the fact that a free open weight model trained for under $5 million is now competing with frontier systems is astonishing. It proves that open source AI isn't just catching up, it's competing. The deeper story lies in the strategic landscape. China's AI boom isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. Being locked out of NVIDIA's highest-end GPUs forced Chinese researchers to optimize, innovate, and build smarter training methods that Western labs largely ignored. China embraced open source as a national movement, releasing models like DeepSeek, Quen, Baichuan, GLM, Yi, and now Kimi K2, openly sharing architectures, training recipes, datasets, and weights. This collaborative ecosystem created a fast feedback loop where each release informs the next. The United States, by contrast, has moved toward closed source development focused on safety, monetization, and secrecy, a gaining stability but losing the speed of global collaboration. Kimi K2 Thinking sends a clear message. The AI race is no longer dominated by one country. China can now build world-class intelligence at dramatically lower cost. And if Chinese labs continue releasing frontier-level models every few months, the global balance of technological power may shift even further. Developers and startups around the world are now wondering where to build. GPT-5, Claude, Gemini, or the radically cheaper Kimi K2. A model that costs one-tenth as much to run could reshape entire business strategies. This is why many analysts say the release of Kimi K2 thinking marks the beginning of a new era. Not just for China, not just for open source, but for AI as a whole. It shows that intelligence is becoming democratized, that breakthroughs can emerge outside Silicon Valley, and that the future of AI will be multipolar, unpredictable, and extremely fast. If this pace continues, 2026 may become the most chaotic, competitive, and transformative year the AI world has ever witnessed. So what do you think this means for the future of AI? Is China about to take the lead, or can the United States state still hold its ground? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to subscribe. It truly helps the channel grow.